Hey, welcome back. Today we're gonna start working with charts. First one that we'll be working with is time series chart. I'm gonna show you how to create it, why is that useful, what are the situations where you can use time series chart and how to modify values and style. So let's get started. First, to import time series chart, you will go to add a chart option and you will be able to see time series chart. Let's pick this first one. I'm gonna place it here. And then I can resize it. Excellent. Now what we can see here, based on this legend, we can see sales and basically we can see our date range. If we check this setup section, we will be able to see that we are using order date column. It's also our dimension. And then in this metric box, we have sales, which means that we are displaying sales over time. So what we can do here, instead of sales, for example, we could provide profit. For this dimension, because this is a time series chart, we will be using date. So we're going to be keeping this order date column here. As you can see, we have this drill down option. I'm going to show you why is that so useful in this case. As you can notice, we are presenting profit in this case for each day that we have in our data source. Now, instead of that, if I click here, we will be able to see this year month and order date column. If I check here below, we will be able to see now default drill down level. In this case, it's order date. So basically it's displayed by day. Now I would like to change that. I'm gonna change that to year. So now what we can see here, we can see profit by year. So for 2021, we have this number. This is the number for 2022, 2023 and 2024. Great. Now, if I click on this view button here, we will be able to see this drill down option. If I click on that, we will be able to see values by year and also by the month. In September for 2021, we can see this profit. Highest profit we had here, it's December 2021. Perfect. If I click one more time, I will be able again to see our first chart that we had previously. So profit by day. I'm gonna click one more time and then one more time and basically now we have profit grouped by year. I'm gonna click again on edit. And now let's see what other useful function we have in this time series chart. Instead of profit, I'm going to use sales one more time. Let's place it here. And here below this drill down, you can see this breakdown dimension. And what we can present here, if I use, for example, let's use a region. We will be able to see sales by different regions. So first one is North America. This is this blue line that we have here and we can see sales for North America. Also, we have see sales for Asia and for Europe. So breakdown basically allow us to use different dimension to basically separate our data to be able to see different categories. Also, if I choose some other value, so for example, country, probably it will not be that nice to see a lot of countries in one chart, but basically you have also that opportunity. As you can see, now you have a lot of them, so this chart is not very convenient for using, but in this case, maybe I can try for the category. Let's see that option. And this one is a little bit better, but we still have several categories, so it's, it's not very easy to distinct each of them. Let's go back to region. I'm gonna place it here, and now we have also that option. If I click again, on drill down, we will be able to see again different data range and same breakdown. If I click one more time, it will not be easy to distinct, but basically we will stick to this first option that we have here. Excellent. If I scroll down a little bit, we have this option ascending and descending. We can change column. So instead of sales, we can sort by some other value. Also, we can choose default date range. So for example, we can see only, for example, previous year. We can add some filters. We can zoom in the data. And basically those are some useful features that you can use in this setup section. Okay, with this, I'm gonna conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching.